Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you how I made this belly band. It doesn't really look like a belly band, but you can actually tuck a card behind those book page stripe uh, strips. And I'm gonna make one for my mushroom junk journal and I thought I would just turn on the camera and show you how I make those. Okay, I'm just gonna put this over here. All right, so what you need is some book pages, a background um, paper, if you want, you don't have to, you can just stick the whole thing into your junk journal, but I like the fact that it has like another layer on the page. And then some decorations. And you don't have to stitch it, but I I like this machine stitching. So it's up to you. You can also just glue it. All right. So you're going to need a book page or several book pages, depending on how thin you're going to um, tear your book page strips and how, how wide you want your um, belly band to be. So on on the one that I just showed you, I just used a random book page and I cut it short because my journal is not very big. But for the one here, I'm just gonna use a shorter or a smaller book page. I think I used three. So what you do is you would just tear uh, your book page in, in strips and make sure that you don't just tear them straight make him look like this or like this so it just adds a little bit of interest and then what I did next I actually use a just some paper and I'm gonna glue them on on top of that paper just so they can all stick on there and let's see so really hard to see because they just blend into each other but as soon as I'm gonna ink the edges you're gonna see that it actually looks really neat let's see how I'm gonna maybe not this way okay do I have any other one oh, this one is good all right I think I'm gonna do it this way or I'm gonna add one more. Okay, so next you are gonna wanna um, want to distress the edges. If I can find my spongy sponge. Oh, I need a new one. Anyway, I'm gonna do that and then I'll be back. of my paper strips and now I'm going to glue them all on a uh, paper can be any random paper you have laying around I just happen to have a piece of a book page and you just overlap them so it looks nice first I was gonna use my art glitter glue but because these are very old thin fragile pages um, it actually you could see the glue through the paper so I'm not gonna use that one I need my glue magazine okay so just gonna glue all these guys down all right okay which one do i want next this one ribbon on my glue. I don't know where it came from. Okay. And I'm sure this will would also look nice if you uh, were to use um, scrapbook paper or any other book, like different book pages, not necessarily from the same book. 
So your options are pretty limitless. I just wanted to use the yellow yellow book page that I had to lay I had laying around here. It's funny, this one is not as yellow as the other ones, and this is from the same 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 book. I don't know if you can actually tell. It's hard to see on camera. Okay, and then I'm gonna do one more. And you probably noticed that I didn't ink this one, this edge. It's because I'm actually gonna tear um, the whole paper with this. And then I'm gonna, um, then I am going to ink that. And I'm gonna do the same thing here. I probably didn't have to stain that or ink that one. Okay. All right, so now that it's all on there, I'm gonna cut this. Actually, I can tear it. I'm just gonna cut a piece off here. So, maybe I can just cut along this. Oops, I'm not even in the frame, sorry. Okay, first one. Oh, it's still drying. And then. Ugh, wow, this glue is not even sticking on those book pages. Probably should have used a different different one. Interesting how paper changes over the years. just falling apart in my hand wow yeah definitely not the right paper okay and then down here I think I'm just gonna cut it okay so now that we got this um, why do I keep losing my sponge? Really? Oh, it, it's hiding. Okay, I should probably also close this glue. Come on. And now we're just gonna ink all the edges. So I bought a whole bag of these little daubers um, and I have no idea what I did with them. I know I put them somewhere last time I cleaned up here and I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to put them here because I know I'm going to find them here and now I can't find them anymore. So I have to use this uh, makeup sponge thingy. I really want to know what happened to my daubers. Alright, so and once that's all inked up, I am going to stitch at the top and the bottom just for some more interest and some more texture. It's totally optional. Okay, looks pretty old. So I'm going to stitch this and I'll be right back. Okay, so I stitched the top and the bottom and I also cut a piece from a book page that has a nice hand-drawn map on it. And I'm going to glue this on top. And it is going to be like this background here. All right, so for that, I'm actually going to use the art glitter glue because that's better than the glue stick that I've been using to glue those pages onto this page. And it's actually good that I glued those onto this book page 
because if I had only sewn these super old pages, this would actually tear apart because it's like perforated now and you can just rip it off. But because this one is a little sturdier, this book page, um, it helps it stay together. Okay, so I am going to trim those little pieces up a little bit. And then we're just gonna stick that on here. Let's see. All right. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> no, stay there. Okay, let's let this dry for a moment. And I'm going to close my glue if I can actually get the nail at the nail, the pin in there. Okay, and then I'm going to distress the edges of this map. Okay, so that's done and now we can decorate and I want to use one of these guys. They are old and made in Germany and I love those. Now I gotta figure out which one I want to stick on there. one is cute. This is too big. This might be a little too... Mm, no, not really. Maybe I'll use this one. Or these. No, I think I'm gonna use this one. So what I do... Just cut those little tag thingies off. It holds those together. I remember when I was a kid we would use those things to put in our um, little friendship books. I don't know what you call them. We had like little books. Oh, I actually still have mine over here, I think. Hold on. Yep. A little dusty. So we had these, these things. Um, and you would put your name in it and then you give it to all your friends from school and they would write a poem in it in, in it and decorate it it's from 1993 and then they give it back to you and then you give it to all your other friends so that's actually a really nice um memory of all my friends from elementary school my grandma I thought one of my friends put one of those thingies in there. I guess I... Oh, maybe. Yeah, there. this one is one of those. Oh, this one is actually made in England. That's too funny. Anyway, that's why I like those. Because they remind me of my childhood. Okay, so I'm just going to trim all of those thingies off. And you can buy them on Etsy. There's actually a a store that sells sells a whole bunch of those German and Italian and in English, uh, yeah, English ones. So what else am I gonna put on there? On this one, I just put uh, some lace and some so, um, sewing thread on there, and then some words. So I might do that. 
Where's my lace? That might be overkill. Okay, I found a piece of lace and I just cut out this flower part and I'm going to stick that under my mushroom somehow. I'm also going to put some of the of this thread on there. I actually found this, this is from Tim Holtz and you get, I got four spools for $1.99 at a local store. And it's time that I use it because I can't just have it sitting around here and not being used. That's not why I bought it. Well, I bought it without knowing exactly what I was going to use it for because I just like the colors. It has two greens and two blues. So now I'm going to use it. All right, let's see if I can... Somehow, add those. Okay, let's glue this one down first. <clears throat> and my cat is scratching out there. They probably know that I'm filming. Also, one of the um, drawbacks of having a um, craft room in the basement is you have spiders. <laughs> the other day I cleaned up my desk and there was a little spider hiding under a piece of paper. I was like, ugh, I don't mind spiders, I just don't want them in my craft room. Eh, don't go over there. So he ran away. I don't know where he is, as long as he leaves me alone. He can stay over there and I'm gonna be over here. All right, so I'm just gonna squish those in here. Or I'm gonna do it this way. Ah, it's glued to me. All right. So I'm going to use the fabric tag on this one because I'm going to glue it onto the thread and the lace. I want to make sure it stays on there. I'll do a little off center. Okay, and I might put something up there. I don't know yet But that's good for now. So now I'm gonna find that card Just want to see. Yep So now I can put like some big journaling card or folded paper under that and then glue this whole thing into the journal Like I did here That is my little belly band project for today and I hope you like it. Thanks so much for watching guys. Until next time. Bye bye.